Okay, today is November 14th, 2011. Uh, we're just going to review question from last night's homework. This is lesson 4.4, question 6a. Now, this is the form of quadratic equations we do know. We know vertex form, and they've given us some points. So, I'm going to write out the formula we know and relate it. Y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. Now, from looking at this parabola, we know the vertex is the lowest point which they've given us. So, 4 and 0 is the vertex. And we know that the vertex from vertex form, which we're in, can be written as the opposite of h and the k value. That will be our numbers. So we have the vertex being 4 and 0. So when we go to plug them into our equation, y equals a x. Because 4 is positive 4, we put negative 4 in the brackets. And k is 0, so plus the number 0. Now I still have 1, 2, 3 variables in this question. I need to isolate for a. In order to isolate for a, I'm going to use the other coordinate they've given us, which is 2 and 4, and I'm going to plug them in as the x and y values. Because they fall on the line, we can replace the y and x in the equation with those numbers. So our y value is now 4 is equal to a, 2 minus 4 squared, and we don't have to push put plus 0 because it won't affect us that much. 4 is equal to a negative 2 squared. 4 is equal to a times 4. When I move 4 over, because it's a multiplication between 4 and a, we need to divide both sides by 4. a is equal to 1. So my final equation, y equals 1 x minus 4 squared because k is 0. Because a is 1, we can just write it as y equals x minus 4 squared. And now we're just going to prove this. And we looked from here. We can now prove it. Here is 4. And our other point was 2 and 4, was it? Works out perfect. So we have the correct equation from equation from Okay, 6b. Very similar question. We have our vertex form. So we're going to put it down. y is equal to a h whoops. x minus h squared plus k. Again, we need our vertex which is at negative 3 and 0 and the other point they've given us is negative 1 and negative 4. So, our h and k, okay, remember we're using our vertex, we use the opposite of the h in the same k value. So when we go to plug this in, it'll be relatively similar because our k value will be again 0. But this time, because h is negative 3, we're going to put positive 3 in the brackets. k is 0, doesn't really affect it. So you have to write plus 0. Yes. You, you don't have to write plus 0 if you don't. Here is our x and y, so we're going to speed through this a little since we've already done this process. y is negative 4 is equal to a, x is negative 1 plus 3 squared. I'm going to move the equation over here. When we equate the brackets, we get the number 2 squared. a times 4 is equal to negative 4. And then when I divide, a is equal to negative 1, which makes sense because our parabola is opening downwards. And remember, anytime a is negative, we have a downward opening parabola. Let's prove it again. Okay, this is the old parabola. Now we push enter. Oops. There we go. Zoom out. There we go. So our points were at negative 3 and 0, which is right. And we had negative 1 and negative 4. So we got the right points.